What's up guys, welcome back. Today you're joining me from halfway up Mont Vial, about 50K out of Nice, and I'm climbing up to about 1800 meters. As you can see, the view is absolutely phenomenal. So today is my last endurance ride for the 2022 season. After this, I'm off to Italy for three days of racing, and then I'm headed from Milan directly back to Australia for the first time in two years now. So haven't seen my friends or family since the end of uh, 2020, I think it was. So pretty excited to get back there. So I haven't seen my girlfriend since the beginning of the year. So a lot of stuff to look forward to this off season. Join me for the six hours today. And when I get home, packing my bags for Australia, baby. Yew! Alrighty, I'm back home in my beautiful apartment now. I moved in here about a month ago and I'm really gonna miss this view when I head back to Australia. But I guess you gotta make some sacrifices sometimes. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like button down below because for every dollar this video generates, I'm gonna donate it all to the Ocean Cleanup Project who's trying to rid plastic from our ocean. So it's a really good cause and the more people that see this video, the more money I can donate. And along with that, if you guys want to win yourself a free pair of Oldant stereo headphones, which are great for staying alert to your environment while you're on the bike training, comment down below your favorite beach and leave the headphone emoji in the comment and I'll choose it by random and contact you guys in the comments. So let me know. <laughs> Made it back to Australia. I think I've had about 30 hours in transit now. Back to my beautiful girlfriend, Jess. Did you miss me? Yeah, I did. What are we going to get up to today? I think we'll probably go for a run and then we're going to head to Noosa for the weekend. I might do a bit of playing with our beautiful little puppies here. This is Lenny and then we've got Wally here as well. <laughs> Should be a good day, so I'm gonna go cook everyone breakfast and then we'll get out for a run later on. Your puppy escaped. But <laughs> see that. <laughs> so today I'm in mum's kitchen. I'm sure mum loves having me home, probably more for the food than anything else, don't you? Uh, that's probably true, yes. Welcome to my kitchen, everyone. This is my Harry boy. As you can see, he's quite a bit taller than I am now. But yes, I do love having him home in my kitchen and he's going to cook up a storm. What are you cooking for us, Harry? Uh, probably some bacon and eggs on toast, I think. Oh, sounds very good. Enjoy, everyone. So, my diet during the off-season. As a general rule, I really try and keep this as similar as possible to during the year. Obviously, I eat a really wide variety of foods as it is, just because I love to cook. But during the off-season, I leave a bit of extra space for the foods that I really like to indulge in. The total volume and the total amount of calories that I'm going to consume, though, is obviously really a lot less than during the year, just because I don't really need to fuel any adaptation when you're having rest and enjoying time off the bike. I like to finish my off-season feeling like refreshed and ready to go for the season ahead, which is something that I don't really feel if I do too crazy in my diet. So it's all up to you and what you really like best. The latest summer collection. 
Bloody good to be back in Australia, back on home soil. It's nothing better than getting out into nature straight away and enjoying it. I've put the bike away for about three weeks, just put it in the shed and I won't touch it. But during that time, I still like to get out, stay fit and just do things that I really enjoy. Going for a run, hiking, camping, just anything in nature I really enjoy. Even swimming at the beach, it's bloody good in Australia. So. It's not like I put my bike away and do nothing and just get all lazy. Last off season I actually stayed in France, bought myself some ski gear and did a bit of cross country skiing, a bit of skimo which was awesome to stay fit walking up mountains. But yeah personally I just really like switching off from the whole professional sports scene. I really still enjoy the feeling of exercise and I think it's really good mentally because for me personally the main objective of my off season is just to be mentally ready for the season ahead. I don't think you actually need that much time to recover from the season so after a couple weeks off I usually try and get back into the gym just so that I don't lose too much strength and really just start to ease into doing structured training again so it's not a brutal start. I'm only out for 5 or 10k easy today but as you can see I'm absolutely drenched in sweat from this Queensland humidity. That's it for this video guys, I hope you really enjoyed seeing what I get up to in the off season, seeing a snippet of my personal life. Huge thank you to All Dance for sponsoring this video, don't forget to drop a comment to try and win a free pair and I'll see you in the next one.